Oh, welcome along. It's Bank Holiday Monday, the 31st of August. Yes, 2020. And did you have a nice day yesterday? Did you? Well, we had our pork, like I said. Absolutely fantastic. I didn't get to do the pudding that I wanted to do. I was going to do nectarines. Yeah, in a skillet with some um, icing sugar on them, so they went all crispy and caramelised. But when Tracy and Siobhan decided to go to Asda, they bought a huge trifle, knowing that I shouldn't be eating it. Temptation was put in my way, and guess what? Did I eat any? I ate most of it. I did. Oh, yes. So uh, my blood sugars this morning will be sky high. But hey-ho, never mind. Of course, hello to LB. Thank you, LB, for your comment. Very nice, matey. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the vlogs. I mean, some people take the mick and some people actually like them. I think it's good to have a moan and groan about everything. Well, I'm going to start off with um, moaning and groaning. Our friend, David Howard, has got a monkey called George. Now, he left me a message. Can you ask the nice people who come from London into Selsey to take their rubbish home with you and not leave it lying around. <clears throat> it could be simpler. Either put it back in the carrier bag that you brought it with, take it home, put it in your own bin, or put it in the amount of waste paper bins that we have all over the place in Selsey. Hmm. Well, we had to, as I said, we had to go out early yesterday morning and get uh, Tracy to hospital. Um, she might have um, lung cancer. I know, horrible, horrible thought. She had to have a CT scan on her lung and her chest just to make sure. So we were waiting baitly um, for the results of that. Uh, and afterwards, I thought I'd sh uh, treat Siobhan, as she's been working very hard, to another McDonald's. Well, I must say that I do like an apple pie and the double cheeseburger at the moment. So we got our food and went to park up in the sunshine this time. And some idiot had just undone the contents of their McDonald's packet, stuck it back in the bag and then opened the car door and just dropped it in the car park. <clears throat> they were two foot away from a blooming bin. What is wrong with people? Hey? Eh? Then we've got the likes of Chris Reardon. He's going out wombling the countryside, picking up everybody's rubbish. Good on you, Chris. Good on you, mate. But they're disgusting. Total, total idiots. I mean, when I was a kid, we never had any of this. No, none whatsoever. Just take your rubbish home. Go on, do yourself a favour. Well, I got some of these. Let me show you. Let me show you these. They're strawberries. From your fruit limited in Sidlesham, have you got a farm or similar around your area where they have an honesty box where you leave the money for your goods that you're buying? They are absolutely brilliant. Now, we had a post on Facebook a few weeks ago about your farm. We've been using them for years. I like the strawberries, Tracy likes the raspberries, and I make an assortment of lovely jam. We've even got some hanging baskets from them, £5 each, and they're absolutely beautiful. Well, someone decided to take all the goods and the honesty box. They had a pair of um, snippers, cut the bloody thing and took the money. How dare you? Well, I honestly don't believe some people. Really don't. <sighs> what is the world coming to, eh? It's like this TUI flight from uh, Greece. All passengers had to self-isolate because 20 people have tested positive on the plane. Come on, why have you got to go abroad for a holiday? Do a staycation, stay at home. Instead of going everywhere, spreading the disease, taking it from this country to there or bringing it back with you. Come on, you're not all stupid. Surely some of you were educated when you were kids. But I honestly don't think you were. I don't think you've got a brain cell between the lot of you. It's like face masks. I mean, Gavin, Joey and Amelia, me, Tracy, Siobhan, when we go out, that's the first thing we put on and it stays on our face until we get back home. Yeah? 
We do, just to stop the spread. Because the second wave will be coming this Christmas, believe me. We won't be having a Christmas like we, like we used to. Going down the pub, getting rat arsed, coming home, having a dinner, having a sleep on the settee. Going around your family and friends on Boxing Day just won't happen. Believe me. If you don't believe me, tough, because that's what's going to happen. Um, how many cars do you know that don't read the signs? Like one-way systems or no entry. Again today, we've seen two cars that have tried to go in the wrong way. It's, it's, it's really mad. I can't understand how people can get away with things or have got the audacity to actually have a go at uh, doing it. I really don't know. Oh, because how did they pass their test? You know, when you do your test, your aptitude test, uh, or your theory, before you're practical, you do a scenario. You're in a car, going down the road, there's obstacles and hazards and everything coming at you at 10 to a dozen, and you have to click the mouse. And you just can't go click, 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 because you'll fail. You've actually got to click when you see an obstacle or a hazard. So honestly, how they know what a road sign is, I don't know. Oh, I'm surprised there hasn't been a death at that new McDonald's. I really don't. I mean, the way they speed around that car park, it should be five mile an hour. It really should. I mean, you've got the Costa Coffee, you've got Pizza Hut in there, you've got McDonald's, and everybody speeds like... Well, I won't swear because it's a family show. Anyway, nearly time to wrap up, but before I do, uh, the pens are now in the process of being printed. I've had a look at them. I've shown Gavin. They're not bad at all. So when they come through, all you'll have to do is email, uh, if you're a subscriber, yeah, to gdavison541 at hotmail.co.uk, telling me that you'd like one, and I will send you one. It says, I'm a winner. I'm a 2020 winner on Gary's Daily Blog. And it's a nice uh, apple colour pen. It really is. <laughs> So, you have a great bank holiday Monday. If you're going out to any sporting events, please keep your social distancing. If you're going to a boot fair, don't all huddle together. Come on, try and curb this virus. Do it for me, yeah? And today, my flat whites from Amazon will be here. Yay! I told you, £7.50 for five boxes of eight. Ooh. Just in time for the Black Bull holiday, I can take some with me. Yee! All right then, you all take care and I'll speak to you in the morning. Ta-ra.